I am Mike Stanton. It's July 9th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Chris Flossy from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. A fairly significant move in interest rates uh, globally this week. Uh, rates did come down in the Treasury market and in munis to some extent. Uh, not an obvious reason uh, trigger for why that happened. What have you heard? So uh, I think, yeah, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. I think the, the grind lower of interest rates, especially in the Treasury market, has been surprising and shocking to everyone. I think everyone sort of figured the Fed was eventually going to get to raising interest rates and, and tapering and all that kind of stuff. And with that, higher interest rates, and we've seen the exact opposite. And in fact, um, Treasury, uh, Treasury market had substantial rally. There's been some speculation that uh, shorts were getting stopped out and they had to cover, which had pushed the market um, to the extremes we saw. But interesting, the uh, muni market followed suit to some degree. Um, and in fact, 30-year MMD hit a 133, which was the lows for the year. And I think everyone's been expecting rates to go higher, anticipating rates to go higher, and we've seen the exact opposite. And in the muni market, obviously, technical factors remain uh, very positive. It was relatively low supply week, and we heard from Lipper $2.3 billion of inflows into mutual funds. So, you know, with that catalyst from the treasury market, the muni market is going to be, uh, is going to have the support to, to move in line with it. Um, there was an interesting uh, tweet just this morning from Chris, Chris Bigotti over at uh, Valley Bank talking about the fact that there's very little uh, incentive for long-term holders of munis to sell right now. They're sitting on gains and they would face a capital gains tax uh, in their tax exempt portfolios. So they're going to sit, sit down and hold on to these assets. Again, there aren't that many other attractive options to trade into either. Yep. And, you know, it's a whole supply demand dynamic that You've got a lot of cash flowing into the municipal asset class. One thing we've talked about in the past has been for the first half of the year, munis, uh, the municipal market uh, returned one positive 1%. Treasury market actually was down uh, close to 3%. And that doesn't even capture the, the large portion of the muni market where you've got you had high yield uh, returns uh, approaching 6.5%. So the municipal asset class had, had performed very well. And with that, you're, getting, you, you're continuing to see um, assets flow into municipals, and that's likely to continue, especially during the seasonal strong period of July and August. So, Chris, let's uh, transition over to the new issue market. Uh, we are seeing a, a bit more activity on the new issue calendar for this week. What, uh, what's your outlook? Right. So even though we had a holiday short week this week in observance of the 4th of July holiday, we still had a decent amount of activity where we priced eight deals in eight states across 16 series for roughly 130 million of par. And the headline deal of the week is an upper Darby school district in Pennsylvania with RBC that totaled roughly 36 and a half million. And on the new issue market, we continue to see activity in credits with a double A uh, category rating. One to note is the Truckee Meadows Fire District in Nevada. We don't see many much activity in that state. And that was bid by RW Baird in the competitive market and totaled roughly 10 million. Great. And then, so for next week, I think uh, we're back over $9 billion on the new issue calendar, and it's uh, pretty well scattered, not one or two giant deals this time. Uh, what, uh, what does it look like to you? Right. So the calendar is above, above $9 million, as you mentioned. We, once again, are going to see increased activity in the competitive space, where bidding in that market will increase. We're also, for BAM, we have, across all markets, we have a relatively heavy week next week with $275 million on the calendar. Uh, highlighting the activity are three larger deals, the Newark Board of Education in New Jersey. Siebert will be pricing that deal and that's 95 million of par. Uh, there's two series of a Wheeling West Virginia water and sewer transaction with Piper and both of those series total roughly 68 million. And there's an, also an Oxford Stewart district with Oppenheimer and that's a $26 million transaction. And all three of those large transactions are BAM Green Star. They are uh, green bonds that align with the international green bond principles. Uh, the Newark transaction in particular is featured in a BAM Credit Insights video with Managing Vice President Howard Slumberg. Uh, those uh, bonds will finance energy efficiency enhancements at the 66 buildings inside the Newark School District. And the other transactions are for uh, water and sewer uh, improvements. So we'll see how those play out. Thanks, guys, for uh, taking the time this week. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Mike. Great. Thanks, Mike.
Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 